Okay, so I'm on a Yamaha Enticer. Um, what the fuck is this thing? Uh, it's a kind of uh, cruiser copy type thing. I must admit, I've never ridden a cruiser before, so... And it's run out of fuel already. Brilliant. <laughs> I said, is there enough fuel to get me to the station? He's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is... I'm not a big cruiser guy, okay, so this is kind of as close to a cruiser as I've ridden. Where the fuck is the key? What the fuck? Uh, hmm. I'm just being a complete retard, but I can't see where the key goes. No, no fuel. Time to take it back. Okay, so why the fuck am I riding this thing? I don't know. Um, just so, so I've, I've ridden pretty much everything else here, and I think that's a Hartford 200 actually in front. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd ride this just for a laugh. Um, this is probably as close to a. Oh, fuck's sake! It's dying again. Close to a cruiser as I've ever ridden, and so far it's not going well. Let's try again. Fuck's sake! Man, this thing feels freaking weird. It's really comfy, but uh. Not really my sort of bike usually, but um, I can kind of see the appeal with Harleys and stuff, but um, this isn't, this is just like a 200cc four-stroke Japanese copy. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what to make of these sort of bikes, but uh, we'll take it out for a little spin and have some fun with it. Oh, it's spluttering again. So let's fill it up and go see what's what. I feel like a right dick riding this thing, I tell you. Well, I found where the key is. Well, the fork seals are leaking like a bitch. Didn't notice that. Don't know too much about this bike, really. It's a 200cc four-stroke. It's got a disc brake on the front, drum on the back. Uh, it's obviously quite a long wheelbase. Cruiser style, so it's kind of a sort of cruiser style um, gear shifting as well. So you've got like you know up and down, heel and toe sort of setup, and you've got these big like foot plates to put your big greasy leather boots on. Um, I have to say it's pretty good on the bumps. It's just a really weird position. I'm not really used to this kind of position. That makes an all right noise. Um, the seat's nice and big, so if you've got a big fat American ass, it's uh, nice and comfy. We'll see how it does on the sort of rougher stuff in a bit. Let's go past these buffalo. Certainly feels quite heavy, but then it's a cruiser, so it should be. Yeah, it doesn't do a bad job on the bumpy stuff. But that's the whole point of these bikes, really. It's just kind of slow and low. Fuck's sake, this bike just keeps dying on me. I guess it's just, the problem is, is they just, there we go, died again. They just let all their bikes run out of petrol. And the problem is, is 
none of them look after their bikes, so there's just loads of shit at the bottom of the tank and just get sucked through the engine every fucking time. Cruisers, man. What the fuck? This has died on me like six times now. I just put three litres of fuel in it. What the fuck? I'm taking this shit back, man. This is bullshit. All right. I'll give it another 30 seconds before it dies again. Well, it seems to be running all right, so I'm going to take a risk and take it out on that road. I just don't want to fucking break down on that road, you know? This is a heavy-ass bike to be pushing all the way to the petrol station or the garage, you know? And it's fucking died again. Seriously, what the fuck? Okay, so we're back on the road again. Um, I think there might have just been a bit, a bit, a bit of water in the carburetor or something, but um, seems to be running all right now. He took it up the road, and yeah, obviously didn't go wrong for him, of course. So uh, we'll give it a go. But to be honest, I'm literally just gonna take this to the, the twisty road for a little bit, and then take it back because I personally don't really like this. I suppose for just slow cruising, yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, you could quite happily just ride this all day, just cruising around. If that's your thing. Me personally, I just like to go a little bit faster. I like to sort of feel attached to the bike, you know. This thing just kind of feels a bit, you know, the, the big and floppy, and you don't really feel like you're part of it. You just feel like you're sort of going along for the ride. And it's died again. You know, I'm kind of reluctant to take this on that road just because I don't want it to fucking die and then just not start and I have to push it up the hill or some shit. But, uh, oh, well, fuck it, let's give it a go. Might just need a bit of petrol running through it, so. But, like, I just don't want to overtake anything now because as soon as you crank the throttle open, it just seems to want to die. Okay, so it's just died again. So that's like three times now since leaving the shop for the second time. Just fucking annoying, you know? Oh, as soon as we get on the fucking road. Oh, it's still wanting to die on me. Oh, it's just... It's choking for fuel. Yeah, this is not good. And there we go. Fucking dead again. Brilliant. Oh well, there goes my nice quiet ride in the country today. Dead. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. And dead. Okay, we got it started, so we're gonna take it back to the shop.
and it's fucking dead again. Brilliant. Oh, you piece of shit. Well, his enticer's working. Can't say the same about this one. Ah! Dead again. Okay, so I've put the choke on and that seems to be letting it tick over. Oh man, I'm sweating now. It's really not that good on these bumpy, bumpy roads. It's all right at slower speed when you're just rolling along, but it's a nice comfy seat, but other than that, Suspension's not great. Mind you, it has got burst fork seal on the front. That's not going to affect it that much. Okay, so it's died again. And we're dead. Guess what? It's died again. Okay, so I took the enticer back early because uh, to be honest, I'd rather walk. Um, bit of a waste of my time and money to be honest but hey it only cost me a fiver so not too bad 